Dear father and mother, at last I can sit down and write you a proper letter. I'm now properly clothed and in my right mind again. They are the words his grandfather wrote from the Western Front. I have, I think, experienced more in the past 10 days than in the whole of my life so far. Eric Rigby Jones was just a teenager when he signed up. From 1917 to 18, he wrote more than 200 letters to his parents. Um, yes. But when my grandfather first arrived, it was free. For his grandson, John, they are the only testimony he has of Eric's wartime service. So have them back soon. He told his parents when he left that he was going to write to them every day. Without my grandfather's letters, no one would know anything about what he did. There's, there's no records in any... Um, regimental histories about him. A staggering 19,000 mailbags would cross the channel every day. A new depot was built specially in London to handle post being sent to and from the front. With men away at war, tens of thousands of women were recruited to help. The mail was transported by lorries, ferries and trains to and from the field. So I am writing this letter and requesting that it should be posted to you in the event of my being killed on the battlefield. Arthur Senor's last letter home was sent after he was killed at the Somme. He'd only gone a distance of 200 yards when he was machine gunned and was killed. Goodbye mother, goodbye father, your loving son, Arthur. This letter was treasured very much by the family and has been kept for many, many years. Wonderfully written bit where he says, May history record that this was the war that ended war, and God grant that such madness be never loosed upon the world again. The hopes of soldiers abroad as armistice came are now preserved in history. Unfortunately, you know, we're no longer able to um, talk to veterans themselves, but we still have their written testimony. In the midst of the horrors of war, it was the written word that brought comfort, the only way soldiers could reach back home to loved ones, not just letters, but lifelines. Nina Nana, ITV News.